my car was about 10 spots away and I was running. I thought I was in the clear wow. because wow. I didn't hear him behind me. And it wasn't until I had my keys in the ignition, majority of my body inside of my car, um, when he body tackled me inside of my car and stabbed at me with a knife. Wow. Wow. And so you, you immediately, you were, you were fighting for your life. And I was reading about your account too. I mean, you ripped your fingernails off, things, details that people don't think of when, when you hear stories of, of people fighting for their lives. And this is a guy who's, you know, he's, he's a guy, you're a woman. He's, he's got muscle mass. He's got that bone density. He's, he's stronger than you are. And yes. even with all of your adrenaline going and, and your will to live, there was still a disadvantage until you went for your firearm. That's true. And I, I've been saying that he's, he was almost a superhuman that night. Um, he had everything, adrenaline, whatever, going for him. And he um, wasn't a large guy, but I was completely overpowered. Um, I caught, was caught off guard, and I was fighting. I was, I was trying to yell, but he would kept, keep covering my mouth. Um, I broke all 10 of my nails. They were all ripped, which made me really sad, but they were all ripped <laughs> off and bleeding. Um, but it wasn't until I couldn't get him off of me that I knew I had to take control of the situation. And I had kept um, – I've been carrying – since I live by myself and had the firearm within my purse, but by the time I needed to use it, I was flat on my back. He was on top of me and my purse was underneath me. So I um, convinced him to kind of lean back a little bit so that I was able to reach inside there and grab it. So. Wow. And T, and, and you, you fired at him. And at what point, I mean, how much... Um, what ha I mean, what happened when you drew down on him and you, and you, you fired, I mean, as best as you could do in the position that you were in and you fired at him, um, that's, I mean, he, he brought a knife to a gunfight for the lack of a better way to put it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I had a 32 Beretta Tomcat, which, uh, is the only gun at the time that I was willing to carry because it was so light and I, you know, you never think it's going to happen to you. Right. Right. Um, I have changed my mind on that since then. Yeah. Found yeah. <laughs> but, um. When I first pulled it out, I had a weak primer. And so my first trigger pull, um, nothing happened. And that was probably the scariest moment. And I remember thinking actually that this was happening too quickly, that I didn't get the chance to see my life flash for my eyes. I mean, that's how Wow. he had come at me full force with a knife at that point. And as he was ready to strike me, I just kept pulling. And thankfully my gun went off. Um, that first shot shot my rear view mirror off. Um, the second shot, because he wasn't leaving at that point. Wow. Second shot, I think, struck him in the neck. Um, and then he fell out of the car, ran t was getting out of the car, and then turned around to come back towards me, and I shot two more times. He, and then wasn't, he, he wasn't going to leave you even after that. Wow. wow. And, and there's... He was not going to stop. I mean, he was, he was telling me he was kidnapping me. He was telling me he was taking me. Um, I mean, I had, I didn't want to kill anybody. I just right. didn't want to be killed myself, you know? So yeah, it was terrifying. <laughs> it, it is. And, and in that moment, because everyone always, and you spoke to this too in your account, you say, you know, we're, it, it's not that people who carry are, are trigger happy because, you know, even as you're telling the story, I mean, you, you, you even waited, um, and you were acting, I mean, completely in defense of your life. And that's what it's all about.